We ready for the jury then? Okay. We're ready for the jury. <laughs> You may continue. Thank you. Does this also look like one of the clips uh, taken from one of the ECB security cam cameras? Yes. And does this appear to be one of the clips that was taken and preserved by ECB since 2016? Yes. And would you agree with me uh, that the quality is also grainy and as it appears in this video? Yes. As far as you know, is the date and time stamp look accurate uh, within a few seconds? Yes. And do you recognize the people in this video? Yes. And who are they? Uh, Amber, Rocky, and Whitney. And move to 42. And does this appear to be one of the video cameras from ECB security footage? Yes. Uh, and does this appear to be one of the videos taken and preserved by ECB since 2016? Yes. And as far as you know, is the date and time stamp uh, accurate within a few seconds? Yes. And if we could please let's see, go to 11.32 and 11.35. Uh, do you recognize this as, as a clip from 2016, uh, one of the ones that was taken and preserved by, by ECB? Yes. And as far as you know, the date and time stamp is it accurate within a few seconds? Yes. Uh, move to admit this as Exhibit 42, please, and move to, and uh, let's move to Exhibit, uh, uh, sorry, 42, and move to Exhibit 43, please.
Does this look like footage from one of the ECB security cameras? Yes. And does this appear to be one of the clips that was taken and preserved by ECB from uh, to, since 2016? Yes. As far as you know, is the date and time stamp accurate within a few seconds? Yes. And can you tell me where this is? Or do you remember where that was in the building? That is the mezzanine vestibule between the building and the garage. Okay. Um, and if we could move to exhibit 44, please. Does this look like one of the videos taken from one of the ECB security cameras? Yes. Um, and does, does this look like one of the clips that was taken and preserved by ECB since 2016? Yes. Uh, and as far as you know, is the date and time stamp accurate within a few seconds? Yes. And do you recognize who's in the photo? I mean, who's in the video? Uh, it appears to be Amber and Trinity Esparza. Trinity what? Trinity Esparza. Um, and can you rewind that footage, please? Um, and... Does Miss does does uh, Amber Heard have a sister? Yes. Do you know if that's Amber Heard's sister versus Amber Heard? Could you tell? Uh, in this video. Uh, not 100% now. Um, and would you agree that the video is, is also a little bit fuzzy in this clip? As it appears now, yeah, it's uh, grainy. Um, and does this look like an accurate clip um, taken and preserved by ECB since 2016? Yes. Um, and if we could please move to Exhibit 46. As far as you know, did uh, ECB 
uh, preserve all the footage that uh, Mr. Depp's attorneys or and Amber's attorneys asked you to preserve? Yes. And did you, from your understanding, do you understand that the attorneys, uh, some attorneys came and actually were involved in the selection process of videos, ECB in May of 2016? Yes. Um, and moving to this exhibit, uh, 45, does this appear to be a, a video clip from a, from a, uh, one of the elevator surveillance cameras in ECB? Yes. And does this appear to be one of the clips that was taken and preserved by ACB since 2016? Yes. And as far as you know, is the date and time stamps accurate within a few seconds? Yes. Um, and I'd like to move to admit this is exhibit uh, 45 and or 46. Um, and do you recognize the people in this? Uh, it appears to be Amber and Rocky. And would you agree that the footage is a little bit fuzzy? Yes, as it's displayed now. Um, I'd like to move to admit that as exhibit 46 and move on to exhibit 47, please. And does this appear to be a video clip from one of the ECB security cameras? Yes. And does this appear to be one of the clips taken and preserved by ECB uh, since 2016? Yes. And as far as you know, is the time and date stamp accurate within a few seconds? Yes. Would you agree that the video footage is, is a little bit fuzzy in this clip as well? Yes, as it's displayed. And let's see. And this looks like one of the clips that was taken and preserved by ECB since 2016? Yes. Um, and as far as you know, the date and timestamp look accurate within a few seconds? Yes. So I believe we're on exhibit 48. Um, does this appear to be a, a clip from one of the ECB video cameras? Yes. And does it appear to be one of the clips that was taken and preserved by ACB since 2016? Yes. And as far as you know, is the date and time stamps uh, accurate within a few seconds? Yes. And do you recognize the woman who's uh, about to get on the elevator getting on? Uh, which it looks like Amber's waiting to get on. Rocky just came in and Whitney's over in the corner. I don't I don't know the other two. Okay. Um and can you is would you agree that this footage is also a little bit fuzzy? Yes, as it's displayed now. And that looks like an accurate clip uh, from one of the ones that was taken and preserved by ECB since 2016. Yes. If we could please pull up Exhibit 49. Mr. Patterson, are you familiar with the layout at the uh, penthouse level of the Eastern Columbia Building? Yes. And uh, this is Exhibit 49 that I'm showing you. And uh, does this look like what you uh, understand the layout to be of the penthouse three first level? Does this look to you like um, what your understanding is of the layout of penthouse three the first level yes and if we could scroll down please does that look like the layout of the second level of penthouse three yes uh, move to admit exhibit 49 please and can we please move to exhibit 50 
Uh, and could we zoom in a little bit, please? Mr. Patterson, do you recognize this as uh, the layout of the penthouse level? Uh, nothing's labeled. Um, Generally, I guess. Does it that look like the pool's in the right spot on that exhibit? Uh, yes. And does does. From what you can tell, does everything else look as you would expect the layout to be in your familiarity with the layout and your experience? Uh, yes, generally. Going back to the video clips, and we can walk, there, there's a couple I'm saving to the, to the end to see if there's time. Um, uh, but for the ones that I've showed, for the ones that I've showed you, um, is your understanding that those are all accurate copies of ECB footage that uh, were taken and preserved by ECB since 2015? Uh, yes. Um, and ag it, again, by t by taken by ECB, I mean by you or someone under your direction in the regular course of business. Is that your understanding? Yes. Um, and. Is it correct that, that ECB has produced all of the video footage that uh, had been subpoenaed by attorneys? Yes, that's correct. Um, so to the extent that, that footage has not been produced, is it fair to say that that footage no longer exists or do you have another explanation? Can you expand on that please? Sure. The, the, um, so there's my understanding is that you testified that there's 87 clips that have been preserved. Is that right? Yes. Um, and that the date and time stamps are, are uh, reasonably accurate to your knowledge on those? Yes, to my knowledge. The extent that there are any missing days or times, is it fair to say that that footage no longer exists? Or is there any other footage that could be produced? Outside of the videos that were requested, um, that's correct. No, everything else would have been written over at this point. Okay, so there's no other videos other than those that have been produced to your knowledge? Yes, correct. Okay. Um, and I believe you testify that ECB has, has currently has a new and improved video system. Is that right? Am I remembering that correctly? Yes. And back in 2016, uh, would you agree with me that the video quality was uh, somewhat grainy, as I believe that we've talked about in some of the clips? Yes, compared to today's, yes. Um, and was, was, uh, was it also a little bit fuzzy in the clips that we've reviewed today? Yes, as they were uh, displayed on the screen. Um, and. Is it correct that you did not um, see Amber in person yourself uh, May 21st or the, or the several days after? I don't recall which day or days she came into the office, um, but I did see her on those two occasions. Um, outside of that, no, I didn't see her in person. Okay, um, with that last answer, you don't recall which days you saw her, is that correct? I don't remember the specific date of those uh, interactions. So would you be able to testify based on your knowledge whether Amber is wearing makeup uh, the week of the 21st of 2016? Not that I recall. 
And if we could please go back, um, since we have a little bit of extra time, and watch the video that we couldn't hear the audio on. There's something wrong with it, but I believe the audio is fixed. So if we could please go back to Exhibit 3. Mr. Patterson, I believe you testified when we first saw this video without audio uh, that you described Mr. Behave Mr. Depp's behavior as animated. <clears throat> is that right? Yes. After, after Now that the audio is back, would you still describe uh, Mr. Depp's behavior as animated? Yeah, I think he's still animated, but with the audio, um, I would say upset about something. And ha based on your um, the times you've seen Mr. Depp at ECB, have you seen him upset about similarly upset uh, in the building? There was one video of Mr. Depp in the elevator um, seems, like I said earlier, animated. W the one you're referring to, is that the one where you said Mr. Depp was swaying side to side, or are you thinking of a different one? Yes, when he was swaying side to side. Do you know who Mr. Waldman is? Yes. Who is he? Uh, Johnny Depp's attorney. Did Mr. Waldman contact you about this case? Yes. What did Mr. Waldman want when he called you? Um, can you quick clarify, just because um, there's been several cases. I don't recall which case Mr. Waldman was involved in. Um, so I don't believe he's reached out regarding this particular one, to my knowledge. Which um, are the other cases that you've been contacted by Mr. Waldman about? Um, I don't recall the specific one, um, but he did reach out to whichever one he was representing at that time. Um, and I believe there's a subpoena that had followed. And did you say that Mr. Waldman contacted you in two prior cases? I don't recall which case it was in regard to. And did you talk to Mr. Waldman on the phone? I, I don't recall. And did you communicate with Mr. Waldman by email? Yes. Did Mr. Waldman uh, prepare a um, draft declaration for you? Yes. Is it fair to say that you cannot testify one way or another about whether Mr. Depp committed domestic violence against Amber? I cannot. If we could please turn to Exhibit 9. <clears throat> and does this look like a um, video camera from the ECB video footage? This is where you want to stop. Okay.
And does this look like one uh, taken and preserved by ECB since 2016? Yes. And as far as you know, is the date and time snake accurate within a few seconds? Yes. And can we please take that down and bring up 10? And does this look like a, a video from one of the ECB security cameras? Yes. And does this, this look like one of the clips that was taken and preserved by ECB uh, since 2016? Yes. Uh, and does the date and time uh, within a few seconds look accurate as far as you know? Yes. And, and can we please uh, take that down and bring up uh, 16. And does this look like a video clip from one of the ECB security cameras? Yes. And does this look like one of the clips that was taken and uh, preserved by ECB since 2016? Yes. And as far as you know, is the date and time stamp accurate within a few seconds? Yes. Please, and we can take this down and uh, bring up 17, please. Uh, does this look like one of the video clips from the ECB security cameras? Yes. And does this look like, like one of the clips that was taken and preserved uh, by ECB from 2016? Yes. And as far as you know, is the date and time stamp accurate within a few seconds? Yes. Can we please take it down and, and bring up 18? Does this look like a video clip from one of the ECB security cameras? Yes. And does this look like one of the clips that was taken and preserved by ECB from 2016? Yes. Uh, and as far as you know, is the date and time stamp accurate within a few seconds? Yes. Could you please take it down and bring up 25? And does this look like a security uh, camera footage from one of the ECB security cameras? Yes. And does this look like one of the clips that was taken and preserved by ECB since 2016? Yes. And as far as you know, are the date and time stamps accurate within a few seconds? Yes. Um, if we could pull up 26.
And does this look like a, a video from one of the ECD security cameras? Yes. And does this look like one of the, the clips that was taken and preserved by ECD since 2016? Yes. And as far as you know, uh, is the date and time accurate within a few seconds? Yes. And just to confirm, that is your signature at the end of this document, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Did anyone assist you in drafting this declaration? <clears throat> Uh, yes. And who was that person? Uh, Mr. Waldman. And did Mr. Waldman's assistance in drafting your declaration have any influence or effect on the truthfulness of your statements in your declaration? No. Um, is this a true and accurate copy of your first witness statement submitted in the UK action? Yes, it appears to be. Mr. Patterson, the statements contained in this first witness statement, are they truthful? Yes, anything that I would have put on here and signed would have been truthful. Did Mr. Depp ever offer you any money? No, he did not. Between May 21st, 2016, which I'll represent to you was a Saturday, and May 27th, 2016, which I will represent to you was a Friday, did you work on site at the Eastern Columbia building? I don't recall if I was there those days. I'm typically there Monday through Friday, but I do not recall if I was there those days. Sitting here today, do you have any recollection of interacting in person with Ms. Hurd at any point between May 21st, 2016 and May 27th, 2016? As I had previously mentioned, I, I don't recall specific dates of when Ms. Hurd stopped by the office. Um, I, I, I don't recall the specific dates. Alejandro Romero was another person that spoke to you about his interactions with Ms. Hurd? That I don't, I'm not 100%. I, I, I don't recall exactly. Was Cornelius Harrell one of the people that spoke to you about his interactions with Ms. Hurd? I also don't recall a specific interaction with Cornelius. Do you recall when Ms. Esparza first came to you about her observations of Ms. Hurd? I don't recall a specific interaction. I have a recollection of, uh, I guess, Trinity stopping by, um, but I don't, I don't remember the exact uh, interaction. And are the statements contained in paragraphs 15 through 18 truthful? As I review it, um, yes, that is my recollection of the occurrences. What footage do you recall Ms. Esparza showing you? I recall Ms. Esparza showing me video of the mezzanine level uh, where the multicolored area rug is, um, of Amber with her sister and Rocky um, and one of them, from what I remember, um, fake punched Amber in the face um, in which they all started laughing and then they walked off screen. You recall the date of that surveillance footage video that you just described? I do not. Do you recall whether it occurred after May 21, 2016? I, I don't recall. Mr. Patterson, does this, after reviewing paragraph seven of your declaration that you signed under the penalty of perjury, does this refresh your recollection as to whether or not you observed the surveillance footage sometime around May 24th, 2016? Yes. Okay, let's, let's go through the first interaction that you remember with Ms. Hurd. Can you tell me what you remember about that interaction? So I, Amber came in, shook her hand, um, and she told me the situation where she needed to have me make a statement to her sources at People Magazine. Did Ms. Hurd explain to you why she wanted you to speak to her source at People Magazine? I don't remember the exact, I don't recall the exact uh, ask 
Um, it was something to do with her getting um, ridiculed in the eye of the public opinion or something like that. Can I please have exhibit three pulled up? And for the record, it's Bates stamped DEP 3628. <clears throat> Mr. Patterson, does this video clip represent a true and accurate copy of one of the original clips that was produced in response to a subpoena in, dis in 2016? Yes. And was this clip recorded and kept in the regular course of business for Eastern Columbia Management? I misspoke. Let me rephrase. Was this clip recorded and kept in the regular course of business for Eastern Columbia Building? Um, can you expand on that? Yeah, let me rephrase it. Um, <clears throat> This is surveillance footage. This is a clip of surveillance footage that was recorded for business purposes at ECB. Yes? Yes, that is correct. Okay. And it was kept or preserved by ECB, right? Yes, that is correct. Do you know the, which camera uh, this particular clip was showing footage from? We can perhaps replay it because I believe it might indicate that. Uh, yeah, if we can pull it up again. Do you know which camera this is showing uh, footage from? Uh, so this would have been the penthouse elevator. And if we could please pull up exhibit four.
Does this video clip represent a true and accurate copy of one of the original clips that was produced in, in response to a subpoena in 2016? Uh, it appears to be. I, there's nothing going on right now, but yes. And which camera is this showing footage from? Uh, this is also the penthouse elevator. If I could please have exhibit five pulled up. And for the record, that's bait stamped depth 3641. And does this video clip represent a true and accurate copy of one of the original clips that was produced in, in um, 2016? Uh, yes, it appears to be. Do you know which camera this is showing footage from? This would also be the penthouse elevator. And what is the date of this footage? May 21st, 2016. Okay, if you could please pull up exhibit six, bait stamped depth 3648.
Does this video clip represent a true and accurate copy of one of the original clips that you produced in 2016? Uh, it appears to, it appears so. I don't recall this exact time of this clip, but yes, it, it does appear so. And is it, uh, what is the date on this video clip? May 21st, 2016. And which camera is this showing footage from? Um, if we can wait for the doors to open. So this is also the penthouse elevator. Mr. Patterson, I will show you next a video clip that's been fate stamped DEP 3610. It's Patterson Exhibit 7. Does this video clip... present a true and accurate copy of one of the original clips that was produced in 2016? Uh, yes, it appears to be so. <laughs> Do you know which camera this is showing footage from? Uh, this is the front desk camera in the lobby. Next, can we please have exhibit eight pulled up, which for the record is DEP 3620. Mr. Patterson, does this video clip represent a true and accurate copy of one of the original clips that was produced in 2016? Yes, it appears to be so. Do you recognize who the person is that entered the elevator at 2256? Um, it appears to be Amber Heard. Can I please have exhibit nine pulled up?
Does this video clip represent a true and accurate copy of one of the original clips that was produced in 2016? Yes, it appears to be so. Do you know which camera this is showing footage from? Uh, this is also the penthouse elevator. Can I please have exhibit 10 pulled up? And for the record, this is bait stamped DEP 3607. Does this appear to be? video clip of a true and accurate copy of one of the original clips that was produced in 2016. Uh, yes, it appears to be so. And do you know which camera this is showing footage from? is also the penthouse elevator. And what date is depicted? May 25th, 2016. Next, can I have please exhibit 12, which for the record is bait stamp DEP 3572. Does this video clip represent a true and accurate copy of one of the original clips that was produced in 2016?
Uh, yes, it appears to be so. And do you know which camera this is showing footage from? This is the front desk lobby camera. And what is the date of this video clip? May 25th, 2016. And if we could please go to, really, if I could ask for your help, 1345. I'm going to mark this exhibit as uh, Patterson Exhibit 12. Do you recognize the woman at the desk, walking to the desk? Yes, it looks like Amber Heard is approaching Trinity as far as they're working at the desk. Can I have Exhibit 13 pulled up, please? And for the record, it's bait stamped depth 3583. Does this video clip represent a true and accurate copy of one of the original clips that was produced in 2016? Uh, yes, it appears to be so. And do you know which camera this is showing footage from? Uh, 
Uh, this would also be the penthouse elevator. And what is the date of this video clip? May 25th, 2016. Do you recognize the woman in the black shirt just outside the elevator? Uh, yes, Amber Heard. So is this one of the video clips that represents true and accurate copy of the original clips that was produced in 2016? Uh, yes, it appears to be so. And what is the date of this video clip? May 25th, 2016. And what camera angle, or excuse me, what camera is this showing footage from? Uh, this is the mezzanine camera between the building and the parking garage. Is that camera four? Uh, according to the stamp, yes. Thank you. If we could please mark that as exhibit 14. Turning to uh, Patterson exhibit 15, date stamped at depth 3569. Does this video clip represent a true and accurate copy of one of the original clips that was produced in 2016? Uh, yes, it appears to be so. And uh, what is the date of this video? May 25th, 2016. And which camera is this showing footage from? Uh, this is camera seven, lobby camera. And does this video clip represent a true and accurate copy of one of the original clips that was produced in 2016? Uh, yes, it appears to be so. And what is the date of this video? May 24th, 2016. And uh, what camera is this showing footage from? Uh, this is camera number six, which is the kiosk camera outside on Broadway. Thank you. And can we please mark this security clip as Patterson Exhibit 16? Next, can I please have Patterson Exhibit 17, depth? Three five nine four. Does this video clip represent a true and accurate copy of one of the original clips that was produced in two thousand sixteen? Uh, yes, it appears to be so. And what camera is this showing footage from? Uh, this is camera number eight, um, Broadway, outside of the, the permanent building. What is the date of this video? May 24th, 2016. Thank you. If we could please mark this security clip as Patterson Exhibit 17. Almost done. Turning to video clip that has been bait stamped depth 3609, Patterson Exhibit 18. Does this video clip represent a true and accurate copy of one of the original clips that was produced in 2016? Uh, yes, it appears to be so. And do you know which camera this is showing footage from? This is camera four, uh, which is the service hallway. And what date is depicted in the security clip? Uh, May 22nd, 2016.
Thank you. Can we please mark this video clip as Patterson Exhibit 18? Next, Patterson Exhibit 19, DEP 3611. Does this video clip represent a true and accurate copy of one of the original clips that was produced in 2016? Uh, yes, it appears to be so. And uh, what camera is this showing footage from? This is camera 13 mezzanine level. And what is the date on this video clip? Uh, May 22nd, 2016. Thank you. Can we please mark the security clip as Patterson Exhibit 19? Turning to Patterson Exhibit 20, which for the record is state stamped DEP 3612. This is one of the video clips that represents a true and correct copy of one of the original clips that was produced in 2016? Uh, yes, it appears to be so. And what camera is this showing footage from? Uh, this is the garage camera number two. And what is the date of this video clip? May 22nd, 2016. Thank you. Can we please mark the security clip as Patterson Exhibit 20? And do you know what camera this is showing footage from? This is parking garage camera number 14. And what is the date on this video clip? May 22nd, 2016. Thank you. Can we please mark this security clip as Patterson Exhibit 21? Mr. Patterson, I believe you previously testified or counsel informed you that there were 87 video clips that were produced in response to a subpoena in 2016. Do you recall that testimony? Yes. And um, all 87 video clips, to the best of your recollection as the person most knowledgeable for um, property, excuse me, action property management, were those 87 video clips recorded and kept or preserved in the regular course of business for Eastern Columbia building? Yes. And were those clips collected, preserved, and produced near the time of the actual events recorded in the clips? Uh, yes, it would have been within that 20 to 30 day timeline. Right. And it was the regular practice of the Eastern Columbia building to record security footage similar to what is reflected in these clips that you've been shown today, correct? Yes, that's correct. Mr. Patterson, I believe uh, you testified earlier that you commented on revisions to Mr. Waldman's draft declaration, is that right? Yes, that's correct. Sure. And I would like you to read, please, the comment, uh, the third comment down, um, which says, was this footage found? I'm, I'm not certain of the date or time. I also do not recall who she was with, but it was two females. I do not recall who threw the pretend punch. I also do not recall if, if she had any signs of injury during this time. However, I do recall one of the females pretending to punch Amber um, in the face. Now, is, do you, did you write this comment? Uh, do you remember it? I do recall uh, vaguely. And this 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 footage is never was found. Is that correct? Your sure. knowledge. The footage was never requested. By whom? any of the attorneys. So the footage, 
if it was, is it your testimony that, that, that this exists, this footage exists or not? It would no longer exist. And it would no longer exist. And it was never produced as one of the 87 clips. Is that right? That is correct. And I believe you testified earlier that attorneys for both sides selected times and looked through video and made selections of what to preserve. Is that, is that, was that your testimony? Yes, that's correct. But nobody selected that footage? To your knowledge? Not to my knowledge, no. And it was never produced? Not to my knowledge, no. Um, and is it correct that, that, uh, that you do not recall at that time whether Amber had any signs of injury? At this moment, no, I do not recall. And according to that comment, you did not recall at that time. Is that your understanding? I don't recall. And you don't know the date or the time of that footage? I don't recall, and obviously I could read this, but I, I don't recall offhand. And you didn't recall at the time either. Is that right? That's correct. All right. That completes testimony, correct? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your extra time tonight. I just wanted to get through that witness tonight so we could start with a new uh, witness tomorrow, okay? So have a good evening. Again, don't do any outside research. Don't talk to anybody about the case. Probably stay off social media. I would appreciate it, okay? And we'll see you in the morning at 10 a.m., okay? Thank you. Okay, well, I know six weeks sounds like a lot of time, but um, it's only 24 days and we've already done three days. So you have 21 days left. You know, stipulations is one of my favorite words. So you might want to consider looking back through all the evidence that you have and stipulate on a lot of information because I promised the jury would be done by Memorial Day weekend and we will be done by Memorial Day weekend. So when your time is up, your time is up. Uh, my law clerk, Sammy, is tracking everybody's time who's how much time has been used by each side so you'll keep doing that throughout the trial and we'll let you know on a weekly basis how it's going but if things don't speed up in the deposition you're just not going to get through this so i want you to keep that in mind okay all right um any remote witnesses tomorrow do if we need to set that up no more okay all right great thank you have a good evening we'll see you at 10 o'clock okay thank you